Welcome back to the Ops Review. Today we're tackling a critical topic, securing your CI-CD pipelines. Imagine your CI-CD pipeline as a fortress. Its walls protect your code from vulnerabilities before it reaches production. To build truly secure software, we need to ensure this fortress is fortified with the right defenses. So let's explore four key steps to achieve this. Hey everyone, this is Aaron from OpsGlue. If you're a small business owner or operator feeling overwhelmed, confused, or downright frightened by the ever-changing tech landscape, then you have come to the right place. Welcome to the Ops Review Podcast, your guide to navigating the exciting and sometimes confusing world of technology. Each week, we will discuss the challenges small businesses face from cybersecurity and cloud computing to automation and data management. So get ready to take your tech game to the next level. Okay, let's start with step one, secure your pipeline configuration. The first line of defense is eliminating secrets like passwords and API keys from your code. These are shiny gold nuggets to attackers granting them access to your sensitive information. Instead, leverage dedicated secrets management services like AWS, SSM, HashiCorp Vault, Azure Key Vault, CyberArk if you're running on-prem. These services act as secure vaults, storing and controlling access to your secrets. They typically encrypt the data so you don't have access to it just blindly. For Kubernetes users, the Secret Store CSI driver simplifies secrets management across all the major cloud providers, offering additional options alongside Aquila's, a newer faultless solution. Something I want to explore in another episode is this concept of a vaultless solution. It seems like a really interesting take on this. If these options aren't available, consider Mozilla SOPS for encryption, adding another layer of protection to your secrets. SOPS will use GPG keys to encrypt files that you can then check into your code. The next thing to consider is secret detection capabilities of most modern SCM tools. This helps prevent accidental leaks during development, ensuring your secrets stay hidden within your vault and not exposed in your code. Additionally, consider exploring IEC scanning tools to catch hidden secrets tucked away in your infrastructure definitions. The secrets detection capabilities of the SCM should capture any of those secrets in your IEC, but remember, security is an onion with many layers of protection. Okay, step two, implement security testing. Automated security testing is your proactive shield, identifying potential vulnerabilities early on in the development process. Here are three key types to consider. Static Application Security Testing, SAT. This acts like a code scanner, analyzing your code for security vulnerabilities and coding errors. Popular tools like SonarCube, SNCC, Checkmarks, and Coverity can help you identify these weaknesses. Remember, different tools excel with different languages, so experiment to find the best fit for your specific needs. For example, from experience, Coverity seems to work better with C and C++ versus check marks. So keep that in mind when you're evaluating these tools. Next is Software Composition Analysis, SCA, also known as Dependency Analysis. This tool scans your code's dependencies for vulnerabilities and potential license risks. Most software these days includes third-party components, either open source or closed source, and can potentially introduce vulnerabilities into your code. These third-party libraries might also contain some tricky licenses that might prevent you from using your code in commercial applications. So you got to be careful and look out for those things. And finally... Dynamic Application Security Testing, DAST. This test simulates real-world attacks by injecting malice data into your application. Typically during late stages of your CI-CD pipeline, when the tool can actually deploy your software and then run checks against that deployed software. 
tools like check marks, DAST, Rapid7, and OWASP Zap can help identify vulnerabilities like SQL injection, which could allow attackers to steal sensitive data. By integrating these tests into your pipeline, you can proactively address security issues before they reach production, preventing potential breaches and protecting your users. Step three, enforce least privilege and access control. Limiting access is crucial for protecting your systems. Imagine granting everyone a master key to your fortress. It wouldn't be very secure, would it? Here are key principles to remember. Enable multi-factor authentication, MFA, on all accounts accessing your SCM and build system. This adds an extra layer of security, requiring a second verification step beyond just a password. Grant only necessary permissions to users based on their roles. Not everyone needs full access to everything within the fortress. Provide users with minimum permissions they need to perform their task effectively. Configure single sign-on with MFA whenever possible. This streamlines the login process while still enforcing strong authentication, reducing the risk of unauthorized access through compromised credentials. And finally, step four, consider code and commit signing. While not covering in detail today, commit and code signing can provide an additional layer of security. It's like adding a tamper evidence seal to your code. Consider using GPG or SSH commit signing to ensure the integrity of your code and verifying that it hasn't been modified by unauthorized individuals. So wrapping it up, securing your CI/CD pipeline is an ongoing process requiring constant vigilance. Regularly review your practices, stay updated on evolving threats, and foster collaboration between developers, security professionals, and operations teams. By implementing these steps and tools, you can build a strong foundation for secure software development, ensuring the integrity and safety of your applications. Keep an eye out for future episodes where we'll delve deeper into specific security tools and strategies, helping you further fortify your CI/CD pipeline defenses. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the show. Do me a favor if you are not following us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, X, or whatever you call it, please do. I also encourage you to sign up for the monthly ops review newsletter to help you stay on top of emerging trends. We also throw in some helpful tips from time to time. Please join us next week for another great show.